All these dramatic weather changes we've seen over the past couple of days going from triple digits near 110 down to the 70s. Are you feeling a little under the weather? Well, we wanted to know if there's a direct correlation between weather temperature changes and how we feel. So we consulted with a doctor today to find out what's really going on. Team 12's Charlie Etsidi has the story. On Cinco de Mayo, the temperature topped out at 108 degrees. And two days later, the temps had dropped more than 30 degrees to 72 degrees. And while it felt pleasant outside, some say it made them feel not so good health-wise. Change in temperature doesn't actually make you sick. Dr. Kara Guerin says the dramatic shift can make existing health conditions worse. Not to mention the wind on Saturday probably blew a lot of dust around to exasperate and already tough allergy season. People that have asthma uh, can have a worsening of their asthma because of all the pollen in the air. Um, a change in barometric pressure can make people who already have arthritis have more joint pain or people who have migraines have a headache. But on the flip side, the cooler temperatures can motivate people to go out more and interact in more social settings, according to Dr. Guerin. We're having a very late flu season as well. Uh, influenza for the most part is gone in most part of the country and normally it's gone by May, but we're still seeing more influenza than we would expect. Does the changing temperatures cause more people to get sick? Well, Dr. Guerin says no. She says most heat related illnesses occur when the thermometer rises and also suggests staying hydrated and washing the hands to stay healthy. Charlie Edsity, 12 News.